welcome to Renfrewshire Libraries in conversation with Football Heroes author Matt Oldfield. Let's kick off with Ronaldo. So Matt, um, your book about Ronaldo, um, the chapter starts at Euro 2016. Um, he went off the field with injury, but uh, <laughs> he's maybe got a new career in management. But when he lifts the trophy, um, he wants to say thanks um, because life wasn't um, always easy growing up in the island of Madeira. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, I mean, as with a lot of these football heroes, Ronaldo is someone who came from a pretty poor background. He, Both his parents kind of struggled to hold down jobs. It was quite a large family. You know, they were basically trying to find a home and, and survive. So, uh, you know, a lot of Cristiano's childhood basically was spent playing football in the streets um, and probably, you know, sort of education coming in every now and again and his mum trying to get him to do as much as she could. But he just yeah, spent so much time out on the streets playing football. And that's where obviously so much of his skill was coming from. And, and, you know, a lot of these heroes do the same thing. They they start off playing, you know, these big games in the streets with their friends, on often on these tiny and not very good pitches, you know, there's probably sort of rocks everywhere and cars coming past and all this kind of stuff. But it's this amazing kind of football education for them because they, you know, in those tiny spaces, they learn how to do all of these amazing tricks. They have to be able to control the ball really well. And, you know, if, if they want to be able to beat, because these games are probably not kind of five aside, they're kind of 20 against 20 and kind of, you know, crazy football so so for the, so for someone like Cristiano it's a you know it's a way of and also I guess when you're that age like being the best and doing the best skills is how you kind of you know rise to the top and you know everyone admires you for that so so for him it was uh yeah football was his kind of way of both having fun but also kind of trying to be the best he could be and, and on that note, he was indeed scouted on the island of Madeira and played for a, a couple of teams like boys clubs, youth clubs in Madeira. But he eventually was scouted for one of Portugal's biggest teams, Sporting Lisbon. But this, um, this involved um, leaving the island of Madeira and heading off to the capital city, which um, he had never, he'd never been in a plane. He'd never left the island, of course. So Lisbon was, um, you know, for, for such a young boy at young age, a, a big shock uh, to the system. But he 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 was he was he was um, he was um, he was he was um, ready ready for the experience to to become the best, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, from everything that I was able to to find out about those early years, because I, I suppose one of the issues, the problems for me, as a, as an Eng as an English person researching about a foreign player, is that you know a lot of the international experiences aren't that easy to to find out information about. From, but from what I could gather, you know, he he was. You know, 11, 12, 13, when he first kind of was making these moves. And so obviously there were there was an early period of homesickness because he, he moved without any, you know, his whole family stayed in Madeira. So he was there on his own, basically. And I suppose, you know, it, I'm trying to think of a, a comparison for, I, I guess it would be kind of like an English kid going to Scotland. You know, there are differences. And I think you know, uh, he found it hard. The, the the in Lisbon, people clearly knew that he wasn't from Lisbon, and he was treated as a kind of outsider for a bit. Um, and so he had to get used to all this stuff. But one thing about Ronaldo that comes through again and again is just this mentality, this like incredible drive and determination to you know, no matter what, he's going to achieve it. So within a few years of being there, he was already you know, doing extra weight sessions, running up hills, you know, doing everything he possibly could to, you know, stand out from the rest. He did his talking on the pitch, didn't he? Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, I mean, uh, he sort of, I think it, with Ronaldo, like, a lot of people think of him as this really cocky, confident character, but it kind of comes from, you know, the amount of work that he does gives him that confidence and that right to be like that. Fabulous. Well, that's a great insight into the story of Ronaldo. We've not even got to like the, the career at Man United and, and uh, Real Madrid, but that's all in the book. <laughs> so um, the final whistle was blown. So thanks so much to Matt for sharing an insight into the research, writing and story of uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. Thank you.